This video is sponsored by the X Jimmy Elfin. So this, this is not a Mac mini. Uh, what if I told you that you could get a portable 200 inch TV for like the price of an iPhone 13 mini? You probably say, John, sir, you are lying. But I'm not lying. And as you can guess, you can. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the X Jimmy Elfin. A small projector that packs a pretty decent punch. But you've probably never heard of X Jimmy, and if you had, maybe you wouldn't know how to pronounce it. It's spelled X G I M I. Uh, they've only been around for a few years, so they're new in this space, but in that time, they made a pretty decent splash with their range of projectors, uh, and this little tiny elfin is no different. As I've been doing for a while, I want to give you guys a big thank you, a shout out for supporting the channel for so many years and supporting me and then the business. I give you guys a chance to win a $500 American Express gift card open to anyone in the world. Put all the information down in the description, but essentially just give this video a like. Leave a comment down below, let us know what you would do with the X Jimmy Elfin, and be sure to leave your social handle in that comment so we can contact you when you win or run it for two weeks. All right, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase about how good the Elfin looks. This is an amazing projector for travel, taking with you for movie nights at friends' houses, for going out in the backyard and showing home movies. This is not a projector to put in a well-lit room. So one of the knocks on projectors, aside from kind of the brightness of them, is focusing. Oftentimes, if you're stuck hitting a focus ring, you're hitting little plus arrows to try to get the focus that looks good to your eyes, might look blurry to somebody else. Uh, the Xtreme Elfin does something really cool. It's going to autofocus itself no matter where you move it. And it does it in a really cool way. So take the projector, move it wherever you want, puts an image on screen that it knows how to calibrate to, so you've got a fully focused, perfect image. So aside from the autofocus, uh, it also has auto keystone. It might be a term you're not familiar with. Essentially, when you point the image at a wall and it's like a little bit tilted, the projector is going to correct it automatically instead of you having to kind of go in and undo screws on the bottom and adjust it yourself. It'll do everything for you. Uh, it's John proof, so no matter what you do, no matter where you put it, you will get a really good picture. Uh, image quality looks really good here. So it's an FHD projector, so it can get to 200 inches, which is absolutely ginormous. I probably wouldn't let it get that big. Uh, FHD, you might be able to start to see some bit of pixelation that maybe you don't want to see uh, in your images. But if you do, take it a bit smaller. The picture quality tends to look really good and really crisp. But I do recommend keeping it in a darker environment. It gets 800 lumens, which is still relatively bright. But like most projectors, you're going to get a better high quality image when you are in that darker environment. Uh, X Jimmy also went through lengths to make sure the motion is high quality too. Most projectors tend to suffer when it comes to really fast motion, like action movies, for example. Uh, they've got different viewing modes to choose from here. They're gonna adjust the performance of the image. So, so for fast moving images, there's motion compensation. Uh, there's gaming mode for low latency. So this is not going to replace, I don't think it should replace uh, a standalone TV or a gaming rig. But considering the size of the elephant, it actually performs really well. Awesome for like impromptu gaming sessions or taking something on the go. But as your dedicated set, it's probably not best used for that. Now, this is running Android TV, which is pretty awesome. And over the past few years since the introduction, I've actually begun to really like that software. Now, the name has changed. This is still the Android TV version, uh, but it has all the functions that I would be looking for. Beyond that, you're gonna get the other awesome Android TV things like Chromecast functionality, uh, and even AirPlay, which is nice. And if you want Netflix or just don't like the UI at all, you just plug in your own Roku, Apple TV, whatever else you want, and you're good to go. Okay, so the picture is good. And again, especially for the size of this projector. But considering you're probably gonna have this in your house, you kind of want the hardware to look decent too. Design is really simple and elegant. It's small. It's just five centimeters thin, and only weighs about 0.9 kilograms. But even with that size and that diminutive stature, it's still packing everything that you need. And of course, it has the projector lens itself, which if you're wondering, is just an LED bulb. And that lets it have a super fast startup time. Usually the bulb has to warm up and get going. Elephant can boot up in just six seconds. So you feel like you're getting a more TV-like experience. It also sounds really good too. Uh, it's got two three watt Harman Kardon speakers with Dolby Audio built in. And considering again, the size, that's overall just really impressive. So are these speakers gonna replace your home theater setup? Probably not. But considering most projectors don't even come with speakers, it's a nice start. At the very least, you can start watching immediately out of the box, not worry about having to configure your own surround sound or soundbar with it. So to control it, you also get a Bluetooth remote, which has Google Assistant button built in, uh, which again, a solid feature of Android TV. Um, but I do want to say there are no controls in the actual projector. 
So be extra careful not to lose that remote or you're going to be out of luck. Even though there are no buttons, you do get all the ports you would need, including HDMI, USB, uh, and audio. And although, keep in mind, it's a small device, you only have one of each. I do wish there were at least two or more HDMI ports. That was, I think, a big omission. But going in knowing that, you probably work around it. But because of the size, you can take it around with you wherever you want, wherever you want a projector, set it quickly. So one HDMI probably won't be a problem. Even has a mount on the bottom, so you can thread it to a stand, like put on a tripod and bring it with you for like a camping trip or something. All right, so that's the XGME Elfin. And for the size and weight, I think it's hard to beat the value of what you're getting here. Unless you're ready to make a dedicated home theater space with controlled lighting and expensive equipment, uh, getting a smaller, more portable projector, I think makes a ton of sense. It looks good, it performs well, I'm 650 bucks. It is definitely affordable and good value for what you are getting. If you wanna check out the XGME Mini, you probably should, we'll link to it down below.